welcome back to Bochinat and Bochinat.com. My name is Nicole. Welcome back to another Bochinat Mac May Not series tutorial. We will be going over an exciting knot today called the Monkey Fist. This is a fairly advanced knot. You will need a long strand of cord of about 100 centimeters long to practice this knot. I've used a 2.5 millimeter multiply cord to make this knot. So to begin, take one end of the cord and start wrapping it around the three fingers on your non-dominant hand like so, two times. Then when you come back from the bottom, take the cord from behind the third finger and through the hole across from the left in between the second and third fingers and through the hole. Repeat this between the two fingers one more time and then on the third time bring the cord through the hole between the first and second finger up at the top. Then wrap that cord through the front and through the loop on the left. Take that same cord end and weave it through the front cords on that third finger from left to right. Repeat in the top section by weaving right to left. Then bottom left to right again. And then weave it through one more time on the top and on the bottom. I like making the monkey fist knot with multiply cord just because it's sturdier and easier to make the knot with. If you guys are interested in the multiply cords that I offer, you can check out the links in the video description below. Weave it through one last time through the top from right to left. Then pull the knot out and we will adjust the cords to tighten the knot, pulling on one section at a time. You can incorporate the monkey fist knot as an add-on onto many different projects, wall hangings, plant hangers, as a little tassel or decoration. The most popular project I've seen monkey fists incorporated in are keychains. I've also seen them incorporated into many different jewelry items such as earrings or charms for necklaces. Give this knot a try and see where you can incorporate this knot into your own macrame projects. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial and want more videos like these, you can check out my Pushing Out Macrame Knot Series playlist for all my step-by-step -step tutorials on various different macrame knots. Or you can check out my 50 knots and sentence tutorial where I go through 50 different macrame knots. And so if you guys are interested in either of those, I'll post the link of the playlist and the 50 knots and sentence tutorial in the video description below. Leave me a comment below on how you've incorporated this knot into your projects. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.